But we're going to look first of all at the area of a parallelogram, and that will help us look at the area of the trapezium. So let's just remind ourselves what this is about. We have a base and a perpendicular height. And if we chop off a triangle there and put it on the other side, we get a rectangle. So the area of a parallelogram is the same as the base times the perpendicular height. And that's really important for the next bit, which we're going to look for trapeziums. But also remember, don't ever use the sloping side. We're always going to use the bit that's straight up and across base and perpendicular height. So let's look at a trapezium. Let's remind ourselves what one is. Quadrilateral means it has four sides and it has one pair of parallel sides. So here are some examples. What we do is we label the sides A and B. Now, it doesn't really matter which side is A and B, uh, as long as they're the parallel ones. We sometimes think of B as the base, so A at the top, B at the bottom, and that works quite nicely. We then label the perpendicular height straight up and down through every shape. Perpendicular height, just like we talked about with the parallelogram. So that's a reminder of how we label it A. B perpendicular height. So let's have a look at this trapezium. There are the three letters we've used. What we're going to do is we're going to make a copy, rotate it, and stick it next to it. So the A jumps down to the bottom and the B jumps up to the top. Now, if you look closely, you'll see that this is the same as a parallelogram. And we've just talked about areas of parallelograms, they are the base times the height. Now the base here is the whole thing, the B and the A, the whole base added together. So we take the base and the height, we use A and B to represent that large uh, long base, we add them together, notice the brackets because we want to add them together first, we times it by the height and we get our answer. Now of course the red trapezium is only half of the whole shape. We don't want both shapes, we just want the red shape. And this comes to the next step, we just halve the answer we've got. So we've got the half of the A plus B and the height. So we can think of that as A add B, the base and the top, top and the bottom. We times it by the height between them and we divide by two. We often see the formula looking like that with a half at the front, but it's best to think of this as top and bottom, A and B, added together. Work out that answer, times by the height, and divide by two. Let's try a couple of questions together. So if we look at this shape, the three and the five of the A and the B, we're gonna flip this shape round, put the five and three the other way round, and the base now is five plus three. So five plus three is, of course, eight. We're going to times it by the height of six. So eight sixes are 48, but we only want one shape. So we divide by two. So 48 divided by two gives us 24. Don't forget centimeters squared. OK, let's have a go at this one. If you want to pause the video, try it yourself. Here we go. We're going to flip it around. Put the two down the bottom, six up the top, that makes the base two plus six. So that's eight. We're gonna times by the height of five, eight fives are 40. But don't forget we want to halve it because there's only one of them. That's right. Half of 40 is 20, put a centimeter squared on the end. Okay. Another one, lots of numbers here, so have a think. Pause it if you want to have a go and uh, think about which numbers you want to use. Let's rotate the shape. The six and the 10 swap place. Now the 7.5 was a sloping side and earlier I said don't use the sloping side. So must make sure we use the top and the bottom, six and the 10, that makes 16. We're going to times by seven and divide by two. Now of course you can use a calculator for this bit, just make sure you've worked out six and 10 being 16. Okay, here's another one. Now, that trapezium is on its side, but the A and the B are still the parallel side. So that's the four and the 10. If it helps, tilt your head sideways or do what I'm doing, rotate the whole shape. Okay, four and 10 are now at the top and bottom as we 